If you're like me, you've forgotten your keys more times than you can count. When that sucks the most is when you're on your bike miles from home and the keys you've forgotten belong to your bike lock, meaning your choice is to either leave your valuable two-wheeler unsecured or ride all the way back home to hunt them down. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com. Fortunately, for people like us, there is a solution. A U-type bike lock that unlocks with your fingerprint. I recently got hands-on with the Benji Lock Fingerprint U-type bike lock to test and review. I'm going to tell you all about my experience and whether I think it's a good buy for you. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please mash that like button and do subscribe, because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. The Benji Lock Fingerprint U-Type Bike Lock has a biometric scanner in one end of the lock, allowing it to be used without a key. Benji Lock also claims the locks have a cut strength of 18,000 pounds and that the cylinder is drill resistant. How does the Benji Lock Fingerprint Bike Lock work? You'll program a principal user's print and you can add nine more so the lock can easily be shared with family or friends. If there's a problem unlocking the lock with the fingerprint scanner or the battery happens to run out, the Benji Lock can also be opened with the included set of two keys. For the initial setup, there is a bit of a sequence to go through to program the principal user. Essentially, unlock the lock, hold the preferred fingerprint to the lock until the blue LED light flashes, then you'll tap that finger to the sensor 10 times, holding until the blue LED light turns solid. That fingerprint is now the master user. If you see a red LED, you'll need to repeat the process from the beginning until the scanner has a total of 10 successful blue light reads. Once you've stored the initial fingerprint inside the Benji lock, you can use that fingerprint to enter setup mode to add additional fingerprints, so there's no worry that a thief could add their own fingerprint while you're away. If you ever need to delete a single fingerprint, you will need to reset the lock and go through the entire setup process a second time. The lock has a small movable cover that rotates over the scanner, so it's not in plain sight. Unfortunately, within moments of me using and programming the lock, it snapped off and I was not able to replace it, so I'm already a little miffed at the durability. Directly beside the scanner itself is a USB-C port for charging. Benji Lock claims the lock should last between six and eight months before the lithium-ion battery needs to be recharged with the included USB-C cable. I'm still working my way through this to prove it out. You can lock the lock by sliding the curved side of the shackle into the lock first and then putting in the straight side. The lock will engage automatically with a beep and a red light. When you're opening the lock, you sometimes need to wiggle it or twist the straight bar just a bit to get it to fully disengage. So well known as this problem, Benji Lock has included a sticker on the lock to remind you about it. I ran numerous lock and unlock tests though and it seemed to open and engage every time without any trouble. These little quirks aside, the lock seems durable and operates well and it will be a lifesaver for me when heading out with my bike. Downsides? The cheap cover has already broken off, so I do hope getting exposed to the elements doesn't ruin the sensor. And the way it's constructed here, it doesn't really seem like it'll fit into a traditional U-lock bracket or a mount for your bike. And this one doesn't come with a special bracket, so I actually need to carry this in a basket or bag. Now the 8 inch shackle is also maybe a bit on the small side and might be a tight fit for some larger bikes. Overall though, this lock is working really well for me and I can definitely recommend it for you. The 8 inch Benji Lock fingerprint bike lock is comparable to other high end U locks, selling for about $80 US or $99 Canadian. If you want to read this review or reference any of what I've talked about here, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've got a full write-up. You can ask me any questions you have about this bike lock either there on the blog or as always here on the YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram, I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always reach me through Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.